The main reason that I would uh, encourage people to study archaeology is an opportunity to see the world in a different way. That for people who love archaeology, it's not simply a discipline, it's a way of life. And through studying archaeology and developing an understanding of how other people in different places in the world and different times have lived their lives, it enriches both our own lives, but our opportunity to contribute to society in different ways by understanding how different societies and cultures have managed their environment and their resources in the past. About 18,000 years ago, the climate around Cairns was about six degrees cooler than it is now, and the sea levels were 150 metres lower than they are now. So the coastlines were much further distant than they are now. In fact, around Cairns, they're about 50 kilometres further east than they are today. So Aboriginal people living in Northern Australia at that time had to manage very different conditions than we find today in Northern Australia. So by understanding how people manage those conditions in the past, we can develop an understanding of how humans might deal with similar changes in the future, with uh, global warming, for example, raising the temperature, with rising sea levels, and how populations respond to rising sea levels, such as abandoning islands, for example, or changing the positions of settlements on the coasts are all things we can learn about by studying the archaeology of the past when much more dramatic climate change has impacted on the way people live. So for me, archaeology is a way of life and a way to live and a way to see the world, which excites me and enriches my life and my family's life, lives. And for me, there'd be no better reason than spending your time studying archaeology and contributing to that investment.